A wise man always accepts a mistake. It's wisdom to accept a mistake. Yes, because things happen. You know? Not that you did a mistake. A mistake happens. There is no action that is perfect. Because every action has got some flaw. Bhagavad Gita has said, Sahajam karma konte ya sadosham api nityare Dur... Durena Hyavaram Karma Buddhi Yoga Dhananjaya. There are many quotes uh, in the scriptures. Says, Action has something in perfection. Maybe 1% or 80% or 90%. Some percentage of mistake is always present in action. When you notice it, you recognize a wise man accepts a mistake. But a fool doesn't see the mistake at all. A fool commits blunders, but doesn't see the mistake. When I mean, someone points it out, he doesn't accept, he becomes defensive. This is what a fool does. You know? A wise man, if he sees mistake in others, he helps them to come out of it in a compassionate manner. But the fool takes pride in others' mistakes. A fool is so happy if someone else does a mistake and he announces the world. Look, that person did a mistake, that person did a mistake. A stupid guy takes pride in others' mistake. Yeah. Wise man sees the other mistake as it could have happened through me too. It's not a big deal about it. It's nothing. He oversees the mistake. He the good things in a person. Wise is a person. Wise man always goes with the praising. He praises others. A stupid fellow always blames the other guy. If he doesn't find something, he tries to find some mistake in them and try to put them down. This is what a foolish guy does. Wisdom is uplifting the spirit. You see, when you are centered, when you are uplifted, you know your place. You always uplift everybody around you. You don't sit down people. The so-called scholars who have simply by-hearted the glossary. And they keep putting down others. I tell you, they know nothing about spiritual. They don't know knowledge, they have no wisdom, they know nothing about spirituality or religion. They, per, per se. you know, they have no idea about God. They'll talk about God concept of God. God is only concept in their mind, it's not a reality in their life. So one who experiences the divinity, that the whole universe is made of that divine. Their whole approach is different. You know, then knowledge, wisdom, love, compassion, exuberates from one's life, one's personality and behavior. If someone has known God, you can see from them Vibrations from their face, from their uh, words, from their behavior, that there is that love and peace. Radiate. Not just uh, studying books and memorizing the glossary and repeating this verse and this paragraph and this verse is there in this computer can do that. You know, you type a particular word, where is the word love coming in this scripture, it will show you upon all the numbers, where it comes. People should not get carried away by someone saying that they have by heart it all the scriptures. It is, in one of the Sanskrit verses it is said, uh, a donkey may carry tons of books on its back, but it can't take credit for the knowledge. <laughs> it has no knowledge in its, in its head. It's just carrying all that. So if you are just a philosopher, 
learnt and by hearted the glossaries of every book. Ta tal pichhe baron zung ge chhe chhe kum hamd baisan. No. The truth the reality. Bore ko tazar unum bodit baidl bolon mitli chhe ke sin tik tik nigum ke chhe bodoch bolkh koy. Exuberate from one's life. Chun mitli bol andrlas. Oros ten zung kuro andrlas chhe ke lo chhe. 